Pokemon Sun and Moon, Game Freak's latest project, has been revealed. Slated for release in the holiday of 2016, what exactly can we expect from this title? And when can we anticipate to see some gameplay? Well, the answer may come rather soon. But before we discuss the case of Pokemon s and let's analyze the steps leading up towards this moment. In the previous Pokemon games were Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, which released in 2014. Prior to that, we had X and Y and the black and white versions. And judging from past releases, we can estimate an average of 2-3 years between mainline Pokemon titles, give or take. The release of Sun and Moon in 2016 would fit into Game Freak's traditional rhythm in terms of release. But then again, people have been speculating that Game Freak would have waited until Nintendo's new handheld to come out before releasing it, whatever that is. So what do you guys think about this? We have the guys Rocky from Golden Dragon Games, Justin from Our Room, and my good old battle buddy 1010 Man to discuss this enigmatic project. So what are your guys' first impressions? 20 seconds long and more than half of it focused on languages. We've got nothing to tell you, but you can play it in Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's been, what, three years since uh, the last one? Yeah, that seems pretty reasonable. And yeah. from what I gather around the internet, people are saying it's uh, there's some things that are based off of um, Singapore, like the little building thing they showed in the, the trailer. There, it, it was shaped exactly like a hotel in Singapore. It's very famous. And there was a woodpecker Pokemon that they vaguely showed off on the screen. It looked exactly like a Singaporean woodpecker, so evidence is kind of adding up there. Yeah, you're right. I'm also seeing some tropical themes in the concept art. For example, you can't see some palm trees. And I think I've seen somewhere in Twitter that this Pokemon gym looking location is very reminiscent to the hotel in Singapore. So perhaps there is a connection. But what about the 3DS in general? Do you guys think that Sun and Moon are coming out at the end of the 3DS's life cycle? Well, people are always saying that this is the last year for the 3DS. So, <laughs> I mean, I don't think that's the most... You can't really relate Pokemon to, you know, the life cycle of the 3DS, because no matter what, if they give us another generation of Pokemon, that's going to stick through all types of media. I, I'm i looking at it more of a, a time standpoint, you know? it's It's been a significant amount of time since we've had anything new from, you know, Pokemon, and we've been speculating we would get a new one every single year, and here it finally comes with a pretty interesting label, you know, with the sun and moon, I, I feel like this would be, yeah, leading to another generation. Yeah, I see the logic in that. I remember there were rumors surrounding Pokemon Z and whether or not that was a thing. By the way, I did hear that you could use Pokemon Bank for the first gen in Virtual Console. Uh, well, they said you'll be able to trade Pokemon through the Virtual Console games, I think they stated that before, but you can actually upload them to Pokemon Bank now. So that's really cool, you can uh, finally upload your Pokemon from Gen 1. Well, I think that's the whole point of the <clears throat> the Pokemon Bank, if you will. It's putting your Pokemon in there, and if I'm correct, that just allows you to use your Pokemon on almost any sort of platform. So if they do decide to take any course of action with the NX and not, you know, have the next Pokemon game years down the line on the 3DS, um, I mean, I, I do think that's the plan, um, being able to access your Pokemon on any platform anywhere. I mean, obviously you can't take a Pokemon from Moon and Sun and put it onto, you know, Yellow, <laughs> but, but you, you get what I mean. It, it's going forward, especially when it came to, you know, collecting Pokemon cards that were never out of date. Now, when you collect your Pokemon in the games, in the earlier games, they're never out of date. You can keep using them. You know, that kind of reminds me, I think you said in the past discussion that you wanted Pokemon Amiibos. I love every Amiibo, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, uh, just give me, what is it, 721 Pokemon? Just give me, uh, give me an Amiibo <laughs> for every single one. You know we'll buy them, Nintendo. We have no, we have no conscience. Well, what else popped up for Sun and Moon? At first, they did colors, then rocks and metals. They recently did letters with X and Y. And now we have celestial bodies with Sun and Moon. Honestly, what did uh, you guys feel free to correct me because I don't have as much knowledge as I probably should with this topic. What was the relevance between X and Y? I know, I know, Sapphire, Ruby, they related to like the the, the Pokemon, like the uh, the the legendaries or whatever. <laughs> but 
I mean, sun and moon seem so abstract that anyone could just come up with. If you have one topic, someone's going to spin and make make a rumor, like with X and Y, someone said there was going to be a Z. If there was a blue and a red, someone would say there's going to be a yellow, which makes sense. But, you know, can you really relate the title to Sun and Moon to something directly with Pokemon? Or is it just they ran out of ideas, <laughs> you know, and just decided to give that its name? You know, it, it could be Pokemon in space. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> we saw no gameplay. I mean... Wasn't wasn't Clefairy from space? Does anyone remember the TV show? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Clefairy's from space, which means we could be dealing with evolutions of Clefairy. That's my assumption. In Sun and Moon. <laughs> uh, what I'm thinking is sort of like with X and Y. I don't think it too related to the actual game itself. Uh, the the only really relation that I can recall is that. The legendary for X was shaped like an X, and legendary for Y was shaped like a Y. <laughs> Could Sun and Moon exist purely for differentiation, or will it? Uh, I mean, if we have a track record to go by, it'll probably be related to you know the Pokemon. I agree with you there. The internet going wild, but I'm hoping that we get a Mega Lunatone and a Mega Sunrock. You know what I was really thinking they were gonna do at the end of this direct? They were gonna announce like a Pokemon we'd never seen before for like Pokemon uh, Pokemon tournament. You know, from Sun and Moon. You know, nothing, yeah. nothing for that game popped up, uh, and that's disappointing because I'm so excited for that game. I mean, oh. do you think they're just so they're not that far in development at all, where they really couldn't show any footage whatsoever? All they can really do is tell us that it's coming. Well, they could be. Game Freak could just be waiting for a big reveal at E3 or something. Look what happened to Zelda Wii U. We still don't have a name for it, but Nintendo will likely show it off there. I do want to know if we're going to get Pikachu Libre in Sun and Moon. I'd be pretty Pikachu excited. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we always get these little things in between mainline Pokemon games to tide us over. You know, there's, there's always the Mystery Dungeon titles, um... I know uh, my girlfriend's been playing Pokemon Picross every single day and spending all of her money to catch more Pokemon. On <laughs> It's available on 3DS. And then they had, you know, what is it, Rumble Blast. There's always little things, and I, I think that's just kind of what we should be looking at, like Detective Pikachu. Um, and, you know, Pokemon Tournament's not even made by Game Freak. It's uh, handed down to a, a completely different studio. But, you know, um, that's that's also a good thing. It'll give uh, Game Freak more time to uh, work on the, the mainline game. There's not much we can really think about with Sun and Moon. There's not much that we honestly know. Um, we do know it's been three years since X and Y, and then I think it was two or three years since we got uh, Black and White version 2. So, you know, that that leaves us with more than a good assumption that we're going to get another generation of Pokemon, and it's going to be a substantial title. Um, especially if we don't know at this point, it might utilize the, the technology on the new 3DS. Probably not, because they don't want to alienate people. But um, that's that's my opinion on that threshold. And with um, Pokemon, uh, Pokemon Tournament... It's actually pretty interesting they decided to do the direct today because tomorrow they're hosting the uh, the tournament for it around the uh, U.S. Um, I was actually going to go participate in it. It's uh, it's about six hours away, but I, I almost thought they were going to announce the tournament on the direct, which they didn't do. But I really feel like the hype level for that game's already where it needs to be. And I think that wraps up everything for now. Thanks to Rocky, Justin, and Ten Ten Man for joining in. I'll probably do some more Sun and Moon videos in the future. Also, sorry for the lack of videos as of late. Personal things have gotten the better of me, but I do have several Zelda videos in the works, along with a couple of fan films. Also, I opened up a brand new music channel. I have a couple of tracks here that might appeal to you. Link is right here. Anything to entertain. I love you guys. I hope you all the absolute best. And take care.